we now have the second lowest number of beds out of the entirety of Europe. We are the fifth richest economy in the world. This is a choice. Her government is proposing through sustainability and transformation to cut one third of the beds in all of our hospitals. Cuts to beds mean I'm on the phone to cancer patients who've had chemotherapy with life-threatening conditions in pain, crying, begging to be let into hospital. They need to come into hospital and I can't let them in. As a doctor, I don't want to ration care in that way, and I see it as an extension of my Hippocratic oath to do what I'm doing now. No society can legitimately call itself civilised if a sick person is denied medical aid because of lack of means. We have, at the moment, those added pressures of the ageing population and uh, the growing complex needs of the population. Blaming certain groups of patients like the elderly creates a distraction. The government keeps reiterating that it's because people are living longer. Well, that was the plan when the NHS was introduced. I did not become a doctor to blame the elderly or the mentally ill or the most vulnerable in society for getting sick. And I certainly did not become a doctor to stand back and watch whilst our universal healthcare system gets ripped apart and people get blocked from accessing that care. Uh, it's a shame some of the people in the BMA are more interested in climbing that greasy pole than saying this kind of stuff. The British Medical Association has done an appalling job in terms of informing people and it's my opinion that they're largely complicit. The only thing that can save it is the grassroots. Democracy starts from the bottom up. People have to be engaged. They cannot let the decision making in the hands of politicians alone. There has to be a grassroots, people-led resistance to what's going on. And when we start joining up and start demanding it together, we will win.